In this video, we will take a closer look at the difference between ristretto, espresso and lungo. We will take you through understanding the basic recipe for each drink, taste them next to each other and explain what you can expect if you order these drinks in a coffee shop. This video is sponsored by Standard, an independent print magazine about coffee culture and people that surround it. When we think about the main differences between ristretto, espresso and lungo, it is the volume and the strength of the drink. They will range from very strong and small like ristretto to weaker and larger lungo and espresso being somewhere in the middle. Probably the easiest way to define the strength is by brew ratio. It is the correlation between how much coffee ground we use and how much liquid we get in the cup. For example, a brew ratio of 1 to 2 means that for 10 grams of ground coffees we will have 20 grams of beverage in the cup. Today we are brewing on Victoria Arduino model Eagle One Prima. The first thing that is important for our brew recipe is the filter basket. This basket can fit from 14 to 16 grams of coffee and today we will lock all our recipes for 16 grams. We will start with the king of these three drinks which is rich, creamy and thick espresso. The ratio we are using today is 1 to 2.3, so for 16 grams we will get 37 grams out in about 27 seconds. The time of extraction is very important as well. So here is the espresso. We dialed in this today because that's where this coffee tastes the best and we aimed for the high sweetness that complements beautifully this Colombian coffee. It's very strong and pleasant drink. It's an extract of the coffee and that's what I feel right here. When we compare ristretto to espresso, it's even stronger. So we will have really strong oily coffee and the volume is super small. It's the smallest drink you can get from the espresso machine. We will use again 16 grams. We just adjust the grind setting to slightly finer to have a higher extraction and better tasting ristretto. So let's start. To get the ristretto, we will use a ratio 1 to 1.5. So for the 16 grams that we ground, we will get 24 grams of our ristretto into a cup. The extraction time is very similar to the espresso because we want to again have a good extraction. In this case, it's slightly longer, so around 29 seconds. So here is our ristretto. As you can see, it's a super small drink with a dark and rich crema. Ristretto is a kick of coffee. It's super strong, super thick. It has almost oily body and the complexity is not as much as in the espresso because of the intensity. There is good reason why ristretto was invented. When the coffees were roasted very dark, or even now the commercial coffees that are dark roasted, they have high bitterness. But if you shorten the extraction of the espresso, the bitterness suddenly becomes lower and the coffee is much more pleasant. Now, before we move to Lungo, let's take a pause and give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Sander. As subscribers, we just received a new issue of this independent print magazine about coffee culture and people that surround it. It's issue 24 and comes together with a sample of tasty Bolivian coffee roasted by the barn in Berlin. Our favorite reads from this mag were an essay on missing cafes by Ben Wurgaff, a portrait of surprising coffee producing region, California, Shout out piece by Leonard Clarks focused on how we talk about costs and coffee, and photographic series, Drink My Sweat, by Jay Green that takes you to Kenya. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you should go to standardmagcom ECT and get a yearly subscription that covers four issues of Standard, free worldwide shipping and coffee samples from some of the best roasters in the world. Now let's brew and taste Lungo with Tomo. Lungo is good for people who find espresso too dense, too thick. It has more water, more volume, and you can also get it many times from automatic machines or cheaper espresso machines because they cannot produce such a thick drink like espresso. Our Lungo today will be 1 to 3 ratio. That means that for 16 grams of coffee, 
we will get 48 grams of the coffee liquid and this will be in 27 seconds. To achieve this time and the good extraction, we have to dial in the grinder. So we moved slightly to a coarser setting. So we have our lungo, as you can see, it's a lot of coffee, three times more than the coffee grounds. This is very light beverage, also watery. Unfortunately, you can get this in many cafes around here served as an espresso. Uh, the crema is slightly more pale, but still very nice. And we're gonna stir it and taste. So this lungo is dialed in, so the extraction is as, it, as it should be. So it actually tastes quite nice. It's really watery. It's very weak in the body. There is nothing close to being syrupy or thick. So it's a very light espresso, quite complex. You can feel the flavors of the coffee, but the structure, the mouthfeel is very weak. So let's sum it up. We set our espresso to produce 37 grams of coffee in the cup which has a brew ratio of 1 to 2.3. It has a thick texture, creamy mouthfeel and balanced taste. Total dissolved solids of espresso is between 8 to 10%. Our ristretto was 24 grams of coffee in the cup, which is a brew ratio of 1 to 1.5. We use slightly finer grind size to increase the resistance of coffee in the porta filter. Ristretto has a very strong flavor and body, almost oily texture. Total dissolved solids of ristretto are 13 to 20%. Our lungo was 48 grams of coffee in the cup, which has a brew ratio of one to three. We used slightly coarser grind size than in espresso to decrease the resistance of coffee in the porta filter. Lungo has a weaker flavor and more watery texture. TDS of lungo is around 6%. Guys, I hope we gave you a good basic overview of a coffee drinks served in the cafe. Let us know what is your culture, how you drink your coffee in the cafe. It was pleasure, enjoy your coffee and see you next time.